Welcome back, this is episode number 10 of this tutorial series slash crash course on Rust 2. You can find the series playlist in the description. And let's get started. So in this tutorial, you are going to understand what are Rust 2 services. And to understand what are services, let's start with the problem. So let's say you have different nodes and you want an interaction that is kind of a client server. So you want a node to act as a client. So it's going to send a request to a node with a server. And then the server is going to process stuff and reply to the client. And this kind of interaction, well, is not really what topics are made for. Okay, with a topic, as you have seen, you send some data from one point to another point. But you don't get an answer. Okay, we can do a closed loop system, but you can't have this client server architecture with a request and a response. And so that's why we have ROS services. So let's run a few services and you will quickly understand. And then everything will make more sense. So in this terminal, I'm going to run. So ROS2 run demo node uh, CPP. Let's come back to this package. And here we have add to int server. Let's run that. So when I run it, nothing happens. You can see I press enter. The node is just waiting. So this is a node where we will have a service. Now, if I do RQT graph, the thing is with RQT graph, you can't see uh, services, okay? You can see nodes and topics, but you can't see services. So RQT graph will not be useful for services. But we also have ROS2 service. So we have the ROS2 topic command for topics, and we have ROS2 service for services. And you have ROS2 service list. And you can see we have add to int service. So a service will have a name, just like a topic. A topic has a name and a type, while a service will also have a name and a type. And here you have, well, you have stuff that is specific to the node add to int server. Okay, so if I do ROS2 node list, you can see we have add to int server node. And for each node, you will have a set of services. But we don't really care about those. What we want is this one, add to int service. And so how to get more info about this service? Well, ROS2 service. And then you can see we have actually type. Okay. So when I press tab, I can see type and this. So you can see that the type for the service is example interfaces, SRV for service, add to int. So how can I see what's inside? ROS2 interface show so just like we did for messages with topics we can do ROS2 interface show for services and let's put this and you can see we have that so that's a bit different so we have something we have int a and int b and then we have dash 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 and then int sum all right so this here before the three dashes this is the request that you're going to send and after the three dashes, this is the response that you're going to get. So this node add to int server contains a server. So contains a service server named add to int. Now, in order to call this service, you need to send a request that is this one, int A, int B. And after you call the server, the server is going to process stuff and it's going to return a response which contains the sum. So let's actually try this. We can do ROS2 service. So we can call a service actually from the terminal. So we can create a client from the terminal. So ROS2 service call and then the service name add to int and then let's press tab twice. We need to provide the type. So ROS2 service call with the name, with the type and then if I press tab again, well you can see we have weird stuff but what i can do is use actually curly brackets so let's use curly brackets here and let's put a like that for example is equal to two and then b with five okay so you can use curly brackets and then the field a you can put a with quotes colon the value you want here it's an integer so i put two comma, and then do that for every field. I'm going to press enter. So look what's going to happen here. I press enter here. And actually, well, actually, no, I need to do 
So let's change this. Let's use double quotes around the curly brackets and then single quotes inside. I think this is going to work. And yes, this is working. So yes, if you want to call ROS2 service call from the terminal, make sure you use that syntax. And well, that's kind of tricky. Even I forgot how it was working. But yeah, double quotes, curly brackets, and then fields with single quotes inside. So what's happening? You can see making requests with a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 5. That's what we want. And then the response with sum is equal to 7. Let's look at the server side. We have a log, incoming request with 2 and 5. So the request was sent from the client here to the server. The server printed this log, incoming request, processed the request, and then returned a response with the sum. And you can see this happens almost instantly. Let's try again. Let's modify. Let's put 9. And you can see it's working too. We have some 11. And here we will receive 2 and 9. All right. So you can see that a service is simply, well, a client server communication. And for a service, you can have, well, only one server. Okay. The server is here in this node. But you can have many clients. Okay. I could call the service from this terminal. I could call it from another node. So I can have as many clients as I want. As an analogy, let's say you have a web server. So the web server for a specific URL, for example, we only have one. If you go to example.com, there is only one server on example.com. There is only one URL. But you can have as many clients as you want connecting to the server. Okay, so with a service, you have one server and as many clients as you want. And then we're going to use services for mainly two kinds of requests either a computation, so that's what we did. We send some data in the request and we expect something in the response. That's a computation related to the request. And the second type of service is actually not a computation, but a change of settings. So in your robot, you may have a lot of settings and you can use some services to be able to change the settings. So you will have a service server where you want to change the settings and then other nodes can create some requests to change the setting. And actually, let's try that with the turtle sim. So I'm going to just clear all of that. Let's kill this and clear. Let's run. So rust to, um, rust to run. Turtle sim. Turtle sim node. Okay, I have the node here. Let's actually put this on the side. And let's do ROS2 service list. As you can see, we have quite a few services. So we have services that are related to the node turtle sim here. So we don't really worry about those. But then we have a bunch of services, for example, clear. So if you call clear, it's going to clear all the traces okay, that the pen has left on the window. Kill, you can actually kill a turtle. So you could remove this turtle. Reset, I think it's going to reset the turtle to the center. And then spawn, you could spawn another turtle. So you will have turtle 2, turtle 3, etc. And then well, here, the one we're going to use is turtle 1 slash set pen. Okay, so as you know, the trace that the turtle leaves is going to be white or light gray. So that's what we call the pen. Okay, let's do ROS2 run turtle sim with turtle teleop key and when i move you can see well it's kind of light gray all right but we can change the color of this we can change with set pen so that's an example of how to change a setting the service server is hosted on the turtle sim node and then we can call this from another node or even from the terminal so let's do ros2 service Type with set pen to know what we need to send. Okay, we need to send turtle sim service set pen. Now let's do ROS2 interface show with that. And what do we have here? Well, we have a request with RGB, so red, green, blue, and then the width of the pen and off if you want to turn off the pen. That's the request. Then we have dash, dash, dash. And you can see after dash 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 we have nothing because well 
there is a response, but the response is going to be empty. Okay, so it's possible that you create a service with an empty request or an empty response. No problem with that. So let's call this service to actually change the color. Okay, let's do ROS2 service call with um, turtle1. Turtle1 slash set pen with the turtle sim service set pen service. And then let's use double quotes, curly brackets, and then R will be. So here we need to give a number between 0 and 255. So let's say we want to change the color to red. I'm going to do it simple. Let's do 255. And then G is gonna be zero and then b is gonna be zero as well the width so width let's try i don't know let's try with three and off off should be zero okay let's press enter you can see so we have nothing on the logs of the total sim node why is that? Because simply, well, the server didn't print any log, but you can see it was working because we have a response. So we have an empty response because if you remember, well, in the interface, we don't have any response. So we still have one that is empty. And now let's try to move the turtle. And you can see now it's red. So the pen has changed to a red pen and the width is three. So I guess that the width was three before. So that's the same one. Let's actually change it. So let's send another request with six. And then, I don't know, let's put red to zero, green to 100, and blue to 100. Okay, and let's move the turtle again. And you can see now we have another trace. That's a bit thicker. And so here, well, as you can see, we have called the service from the terminal and this is not that convenient if the service starts to be quite big. Okay, if the request actually starts to be quite big, this is not going to be convenient. But actually, of course, later on, we are not going to call the service from the terminal. That's just for debugging and testing. We are going to call it from the code directly. That's what we're going to see just later. And one more thing is that, so let's say I kill the turtle sim here and well, I don't need that as well. Let's try to call the service. And you can see waiting for service to become available. Okay, because the service, if I do ROS2 service list, well, the service is listed here because we are calling it. But let's do that again. We don't have any service. So if we try to call a service that doesn't exist, well, it is going to wait. Okay, maybe you will get an error, but here it's waiting. If I start the total sim, then you can see the service is going to be up and then the request can be made. All right, so you have seen an overview of services through two different examples. And so you are going to use a service when you need a client server kind of interaction. And when to use a service versus a topic? Well, topics are going to be used to send some data streams. So if you need to send some data from one part to another part without expecting an answer, just sending some data, for example, sensor data, command velocity data, this kind of data stream will be handled by topics. But when you need to make some interaction where you're going to, for example, compute something or change a setting and you expect also an answer, then you are going to use services. All right, that's the end of this episode. If you found it useful, you will definitely like my full course on ROS2 for beginners. This course contains more than 10 hours of content and will teach you everything you need to create complete ROS2 applications. You can find the link in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the course or in the next tutorial of the series.